One uh, handy little trick that I've, uh, I'm picking up is that uh, I quite often YouTube will ask me, uh, oh, we detected a problem with your lighting, would you like us to fix it? And I say yes, and the result's quite good. It, come, you know, it comes out quite bright, and uh, the writing, I think, is fairly clear, readable. So, uh, it, it doesn't matter so much if the lighting is rather dull. I, mean, I, I you, know, you probably remember from earlier sessions, I put uh, a sort of paper covering around the lampshades of the lights here, so it's uh, less glaring to my eyes. But of course, uh, that lowers the overall light level on the board. But uh, with this uh, Yuhu YouTube uh, lighting uh, recovery process, uh, it doesn't seem to matter much, so I, I may uh, continue doing that. Okay, uh, so just moving straight on, um, we're uh, heading towards uh, the formal definition of a GNFA, and it's uh, very similar to the formal definition of an NFA, but um, before getting there, which is here, uh, let's talk a little bit more about this. Now, uh, at the end of the previous session, we were talking about uh, the delta function for, uh, you know, the transition function for um, a GNFA, and it's a little different, remember, from the transition function for um, a, a finite automaton. Um, here, now here, the two inputs of your transition function are two states. So, and the output, uh, R, that R is the, it's a regular expression, and so it's, it's, not, it's not like a next state, right? It's, it's, it's different from that. It's a, it's a regular expression. And the, these two states here, uh, just two, two of your states in your uh, GNFA. Right? Although there are a few restrictions, like uh, the, the first one here, it cannot be from the accept state, is that correct? Yeah. Um, this one cannot be an ex the, the accept state. And this one cannot be the start state. And that's because uh, from those three conditions we did uh, earlier sessions, uh, the start state has no input arrows to it. Right? And the accept state has no output arrows to it. Right? So, um, so your QI, the state here, that's the one you're transitioning from. Okay? And, and this state here, that's the state that you are transitioning to, okay? And therefore, it's you know quite logical that um, you can't have this state, the one that you're going to, being the start state, because start states only transition from. And you know similar logic here, you can't have that being uh, uh, the, the 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 accept state because you cannot transition from an accept state. Just transition to an accept state. Okay, so two states and the output of this transition function is delta, is a regular expression, right? And which a regular expression? Well, the one that is on the label, the transition arrow from this state to that state. Okay, that's that's, that's important. All right. Um, so, okay, so, so give the definition now, the formal definition of a GNFA, and then uh, we'll do a kind of walkthrough on uh, how a GNFA processes. You know, uh, you know, as the input string comes in, uh, you know, how, how does it look at each? They can, you can divide up that um, input string into contiguous, uh, substrings, right? and you'll move. I'm jumping ahead a bit here, but you'll move from one state to the next 
uh, as a substring, not just one symbol, but a substring, uh, gets gets uh, recognized, gets detected, if you like, uh, by um, what well, matches matches the regular expression on the transition arrow. Uh, okay, so I've got got a little ahead of myself, but okay. So uh, do the formal definition, and then uh, do this kind of walkthrough to show you how a uh, a GNFA works uh, on the in input stream. Okay. Well, uh, the main thing to note with the formal definition of a GNFA is that it's pretty much the same, except except for this, except for its uh, transition function. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you know the the usual thing, with a few differences. Uh, so the set of states, no change. Uh, the input alphabet, you know, the allowed symbols in your input stream, uh, the same. Uh, the delta we talked about, uh, quite different. Okay, start state, same. Uh, well, perhaps I should mention uh, the start state in a GNFA is like an extra state. It, it, it you'll. You first have to convert your DFA into a GNFA, okay? Remember that two-step process. And then from the GNFA, you will get the uh, corresponding uh, final uh, regular expression. Okay, so it's this two-step two -step process. So this start state here is not, not the start state of the DFA. It's an extra state that you add to the, the DFA. And then you'll have a, an epsilon arrow from this new start state to the start state of the DFA. Okay, so it's, it's the GNFA start state, the, the extra one you add. And similarly, similarly here, um, this, there's just one, and no, there's no set here, there's just one. Right? So that's different. There's, there's no wiggly brackets. Uh, it's just a single accept, and it's not even a set, it's just a state. So the quintuple for the, you know, the formal quintuple for the GNFA is you know, a little bit different. Uh, and this accept state is not uh, an accept state of the DFA. Right? It's the extra state that you add, and then you, uh, you connect I remember correctly. Um, all you connect. Sorry. I think I think you add uh, epsilon connections, epsilon arrows, from each of the connect states of your DFA to the one. Uh, the sorry. You you look at all the accept states of your DFA, and then you make transition arrows uh, labeled with uh, epsilon, so epsilon arrows from each of those uh, accept states of the DFA to your one accept state of your N, uh, GNFA. Okay? Right. Uh, so, Q's the same as we mentioned, same, delta we've talked about, uh, Okay, so it's the start state of your N GFA and Q is the accept state of N GFA. All right. Okay. So there's the formal definition. Okay. Now, we, now we talk about the walkthrough. Uh, so what, what's going on? Well, uh, your GNFA will accept a string, uh, say W, an input string, and that input string. Uh, will be a member of this. That's your, your alphabet starred, right? Uh, alphabet starred, and, and remember, uh, you know, your alphabet big uh, capital sigma is a set of all possible input symbols. Now, if you star that set, you'll just get all possible strings using those symbols okay? of uh, you know, infinite length. You know, this, uh, sigma star is an uh, accountably infinite set. And so, so this just means all possible uh, input strings given given your alphabet sigma. Right? So an input string comes in, 
and your GNFA will accept it if at the end of your string, you know, when you've read the last, uh, the last uh, symbol, or in a sense your last substring, because we're talking about uh, n GFAs now. Right? Uh, I'll get I'll get onto that in a minute. So uh, 